everyone. It's Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Thursday the 11th of April 2024. I'm going to jump right into this video just like I did yesterday. Thank you for all of your comments on yesterday's video. And today I'll be working on this book here and maybe I'll raise you up a little bit. Yeah. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So we're going to work on this for a little bit, but I'm going to show you a surprise. So, you know, don't be surprised. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff everywhere for a reason. <laughs> and that's all good. It's all good. But I just need to clean a bit of space. When I work, I'm messy. And that's just how it is. So what I did was I pulled out some of this clear tape because I do... I do want to cover this. Um, uh -oh. Let's hope it's not stuck together down here at the bottom. Because I've just laid it on my table. Let's just pull it off a piece at a time. And I'm just going to cover it because even though now my fingerprints are all over the thing, I might not get it right. I just want a kind of clear cover over the thing. And I'm going to flip it over. Hopefully I've done this right. Because I already know I did it wrong somewhere else. And you'll see that soon. But that just gives it a nice kind of gloss. And of course, once I'm complete, you're going to get a whole different look in the screen. And I hope everybody's doing great today. I had a fantastic sleep. I went to watch videos. And of course, I knew I was drifting off. But did I go to bed? Absolutely not. So I woke up with this huge kink in my neck at about, oh, I don't know, one in the morning. I cycled through a lot of your videos, but uh, determined to watch them and determined to comment. Unfortunately, I watched a little of this, a little of that, but as for commenting, sorry to tell you guys, didn't do it. But I love what you're all doing. I generally um, watch the videos. If you're a content creator, I'll watch the videos of the people that have commented first and then you know go from there because I think you know it's an even exchange right you know you're watching my videos I want to go and watch your videos so therefore if you have if you have a channel I'm unaware of please leave it below I do actually you know get to reading the comments now this one doesn't have a back page so I don't I don't really it doesn't really matter, actually, because um, I can always put something on there, either now or later. Let's see what we've got going on for themes here. We've got paint there. Oh, yeah, there was a green one, I think, that I wanted to put back here, or red, maybe. Is it red? Does it matter? Here's the green one here. And let's go with the green. And I think I have to take just a wee bit off, although I shouldn't have had to. Let's try the corner cutter. Because I'm sure that when I did it, they all kind of fit. Oh, they do, but they're super snug, so maybe I will take a little bit off. So I am working on um, the adaptation of Monique's system right now. I've actually realized that I've been running blind, and by blind I mean without really this planner. Now, Here's the interesting thing I've noticed. 
it's almost given me permission not to do anything. And I was talking to my daughter last night and I said to her, I got to get this book done because I have gotten so used to being accountable to this book that I'm actually not doing anything. So, you know, instead of, you know, I don't know, sweeping my floors and maybe mopping them today or whatever, I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll take that 45 minutes and do what I want to do, which is, you know, great and fine and dandy, but that floor still needs to be cleaned. So now I got to double up, right? So I need to be accountable. And since there's only me, it's me I'm accountable to. Okay, so now I'm going to put on these three. And I did pull these off first. And you can see, like, my fingerprints are all over them. I mean, DNA and everything. But if you go back in my videos, I did have a different picture on the front. And then I ended up going with these ones that were like postcards from Daphne's diary, I think. And this is the full B6 Dology in the black. And I realized something else too last night, which I will disclose to you in just a moment because I can't seem to get this tape straight over here. But yeah, I realized that uh, much of March and now, like much of April, um, I really haven't been filling things out. So I have to go back and do that um, for myself because I need those notes for myself, which is going to take time. And because it's going to take time, I needed... I needed to create something else. So um, I don't like blank areas in like the main books. And for all intents and purposes, I truly have too many. But as for simplifying them, you know, I don't know. So that's all I've done is put the tape on that one. And she's only really got week two in here. So this week here, and you'll see I've taken that tab off, the tab like this. There was once a tab at the bottom indicating what week it was. So this was week two of the month. And I've removed that. It's not even. But I'm going to show you something else. And then week one, of course, would be back here. This is far from completion, you guys. And because it's far from completion, and it's got more than 365 pages or that amount, that's what she'd look like. And... There's the tabs. Now, in comparison to another month, let's just grab the December book. Okay. So, this one will probably end up having two months in it, which means it'll look more like that at the end of it. Okay, so moving on from that, what I decided to do instead was do the yellow one. And I decided to do that because um, I realized that I'm really not going to be doing a whole lot of journaling and whatnot. Um, oh, and there is something else I wanted to show you for this book as well, which I will get to in a minute, that I've done in here. And I've ruined like two of these. And you saw me ruin one yesterday. So this one is the removable tape, thank goodness, because my goodness. Um, so all I did was put this April and then I came to relish the slower pace of life and the extra time I could put into my creative self. That seemed fitting. 
On the back I put just a cut out flower. I love the freedom of just playing with materials and letting the book kind of write itself. So this is the flip. Now what you're not seeing right here is a pocket. You see? Added a pocket. The pockets are from a package I got from Amazon. So I added a pocket here and I just used the, I wanted glossy. I felt like glossy paper. So I just used this Somerset Studio and other, like, I think I used one. Uh, no, no, maybe it was just all from this one. And um, they don't really mean anything. The butterfly means something to me. The seven cups, I seven of cups, I have no idea what that means. I do like this. It says one must not lose desires. And then this is just the alphabet. I am far from finished, guys. Here I put in the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And this is sort of my spiritual mental health page. And I just taped in a acetate heart with the girl, fear, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, ye, I will help thee, Isaiah 41.10. And then I've got the back page here, which I haven't done anything with. Now I put this picture in because it struck me of bingo. Um, my mom loved bingo. This is an April book. Her birthday used to be in April, so I thought that was fitting. And then I go into the AM. And what I did was I really simplified. I cut these tabs and these were the pockets, like I said. I cut these tabs in half. You see, I used to put morning. Actually, I was like, let's see here. I had first thoughts before. Brain dump, whatever. Okay. So I kind of changed up some of the tabs in the system. I wanted to see if I could add some different elements to it. So here I was playing with morning, brain dump is the same, goals and plans, the weekly is the same, joy list was not. I wanted to focus more on the positive learning, creativity, you'll see that the pen kind of smeared. I'm not very good for, you know, waiting. Evening, these are the same, you know, thoughts of the day. I thought, well, I'm doing my five-year Hovenichi. I could just do that. Dailies. And I did draw out these boxes here because I do like the look of them. And then I'd give them a whole page over here. I think I explained that in one of my videos already. And then here's the week in review. And then I would carry on. And I have not put any pockets here. So actually... Let's do that. Let's put the pockets because I want to show you something else that I've done. Now these have an inside flap, which is really good. So because <clears throat> I'm on the chronic hunt, sorry about my voice. I hope you have a coffee, guys. Excuse me while I drink coffee or oh, some water. <clears throat> instead of me carrying sticker books or whatnot I just thought I would just insert some stickers in here okay um and use them for my dailies more inspirationally you know what I mean and or like I'd like to make up more um washi cards and then on the back I'm going to do the same with this one I thought about making a pocket like that and using the pocket but I have these. They're clear. They're nice. And why not? So I'm just going to add this. Now, 
Now, at this moment, I don't know if I'll put it in a cover or not. I haven't really thought that far in advance. It was more or less just getting it all down. So here I've got two lovely pockets. I can stick some, and you can see there's quite a bit of give, okay? I'd have to remove them if I was working in the book or use a writing board. But as you can see, I did for, I've done, you know, basically just the one week in there. So this is going to be my May book. And I didn't touch the spine at all. I didn't touch the spine because the spine will expand. Let me ex demonstrate. This was my first book in July. You see how the spine expands, you see. Now, many people have said, you know, be careful about folding it in on itself when you want to write. I, I, I'm not precious with my books. I flip and flop and think, you know, if the book can't hold up, it can't hold up. You know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to baby the book. I mean, I do have book tape. I have packing tape. I always put like a paper clip here because I'm tired of digging for them. And I wanted to show you a little trick of these, okay? Um, because I'm going to do the same thing in this book here. So we'll move this off to the side. We're going to play a little tag team. And maybe I can drop you down a little bit so I can see you as I sit. You know, we've done more in 16 minutes on my channel than I think I've ever done before. Because I usually chat, 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 chat. Um, but I'm, I'm on a bit of a mission to get this done because, like I said, I need to be accountable for myself and I actually do get the feeling of being lost. So in this book here, I'm just seeing that you're centralized. In this book here, I kept it really simple here. I like the yellow for April. I like these colors. I used all green tabs down here, and um, it does take a long time to put a book together. It really does, and you know, like here, all come along with tape. Now, I should be using my washi tapes, and I say that because I have so many, and I'm not using them, and I really need to use them, so that's why I'm going to do some washi tape cards. Same with this. I can see it coming up, but part of me doesn't want to use like washi tape and like lose that um, did that come up? It did. Where's the tiny scissors? Well, they're not tiny. I've got way tinier, but okay. Now, how are we going to do this? It's very hard when my hands don't know which direction to go. For most of you that don't know, I was actually converted. So half of the things I do right-handed, half I do left. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a very interesting kind of life. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to write something up there. I'm going to do something here. And... This week has already passed, so I do have to fill in all of this information, which I will gather as much as possible from this composition book, as most of you know. And yet, the composition book in itself, look at guys, like, full disclosure, like, uh, a lot of space, but... You know, like I, I did keep up with the week part, but as I did the morning, but, you know, you back it up a little bit, and I truly wasn't at my best, so I, I really, you know, I wasn't getting my dailies done, I, I just wasn't doing it all, so I'm just going to have to do the best I can do, and that's all I can do, and cut myself some slack, so... I focused, did I do this? Yeah. So this was last week. We, 
April 1st to the 7th. And like I said, folks, these pictures, I just put them down for color. Um, and then here's week two. I need to put something else in here. And right off the bat here, I indicated... what week it was and I use these little tabs at the top when I was putting the book together so I kind of took my cue from Monique herself because she does that you know and then after I put it like at, at one point honestly I thought I'd miscounted um, but I do have like just a tiny bit left of papers here and then I think I'd gotten off track actually I think I was going to show you something else um, but there's the brain dump that I have to catch up on here's my goals and plans but you can see all these tabs are cut in half I decided to go halves on them not only will that save me on tabs but they're smaller they're, they're more compact And um, I'm just trying to get them to line up because I wrote on it, but there we go. So the goals and plans do follow the Peanuts Planner Co. as well, except I've changed the bottom to planners. Can you guys see? So as you can see here, the bottom is planners. Which ones do I touch? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm going to write down the main ones and, you know, did I touch them? Uh, social media, same thing. Um, this is my weekly. Um, here's my habits, which I haven't written in. My sleep, which I haven't done. My moods, which I haven't done. Steps and calories burned. And down here, I don't know, maybe word of the week or feeling of the week or general oversight or whatever. Now here's a joy list. I don't know what I'll do here. I could draw a picture. I could do sketch art. I could do scribble art. I could do whatever I want. doesn't really matter. If I see something I like, I can post it down. If there's a quote I like, I can put it down. Um, I could try calligraphy. It doesn't really matter. Learning, all the stuff. Now, I've got online courses, two of them at the moment. And, folks, it's been like two months. I've done nothing in two, two and a half months. And then creativity. What what have I been doing to spark my creativity? Um, these are all new. These are all new tabs. Um, I might have had that in one of my books at some point. I don't believe I've had learning or creativity. Even though I have done creative things, I've never labeled it as such. This is, I just put PM for my nightly um little jots on how the day went and I'm going to make sure that it's not just all writing I want to put a little sticker or something in there so it breaks up the eye and then I drew out these boxes because I really really like that when I was experimenting in crossing the book over was that in the December book I think it was see so, yeah uh let's back up a bit for creativeness so there's a creative page. Um, there's another creative page, even though that says lists. You know, it doesn't need to be pretty. Um, I used watercolor in here. I used everything in here. Um, and I had converted this book completely, but I do like the way this looks. Now, I did one page a day. The difference with this one is I'm doing two. And I'm doing two because half of it tends to be scripture writing or something else. And I just want to put a blurb here. You know, so this really is the summary of the day. This, And I'll, I'll write that down just in case you guys want to know. So it's summary of the day. And then this is mood tracker or mood. I'll just put mood. And then this is, um, I had it as exercise, but I'm going to do it as, uh, 
um, positive health. I don't want to use health, though. I'm so tired of the word health in all its connotations, to be quite honest. Maybe I should leave it as exercise for now until I can come up with a better word that summarizes that I want to treat my body better. And then I want here, I want to work on or observation. Of behavior patterns. And I may be 51 years old, guys, but I, I'm a very tough cookie who went through a lot of stuff in my life, like many of you, and I learned how to survive. Many of us Gen Xs did. We learned how to survive in a very tough world. Now, that being said... There are situations that don't call for that behavior. And so I find myself at points in my life losing my patience at something very, very minor. And those things I need to watch for. The, the intention I have is to be better today than I was yesterday. So if I notice that say I'm losing patience or I'm not doing listening properly or some other behavior, say I'm not eating properly when I know I need to, that will go here, okay? So that's work on observations or behavioral patterns and there are absolutely three of them, okay? But they're in no particular order and then here, I will just put, you know, um, what the day was. And I did it for all seven days. So I do have to catch up on that. Hopefully you guys are seeing everything. My desk is still an absolute nightmare. I think today is the day when I clean it. Because, you know, folks, you know what happens, eh? You reach for what's close to you. And I have a lot of things that are out of reach that I want to circulate and bring back into my reach because you'll reach for them and if you can reach for them you'll use them so here's Thursday here okay so I want to mark that somehow shall I do it with color shall I be a little extra special? maybe this is coming apart but I don't know how that'll look I think it'll actually pull on the paper myself, but. Let's see. I don't want to wreck the paper, that's the thing. Okay, so that's the daily. And at one point, this, like, I had counted all the pages out and I was on week three and I was on week four and I realized I missed the dailies completely. So that was 28 pages I completely missed. So, yeah, I had to go back and do all of that again. So there's a, some counting involved. And then here's the week review. Now, I want the week review to be almost like the Hobonichi weeks and then trackers that summarize the week. And then here we are again. Now I've left two, four, six, eight pages. Why? Well, because what book was that? It was my December book. I feel like this is show and tell, but I went through all of these books and do you know what I really liked, guys? I really liked the artistic elements of my book. Now, it's not to say that I'm good, but I want to see how I'm improving. And th this book has a special place for some reason. It's the color. It's the uh, diversity I've put in here. I'm looking for the paintings. Here they are. So I want to do 
scribble art for each of the seasons. So in here, I had done magazine pictures I'd liked. And then I did two, four, six, eight pages. And so I thought right in the middle of the book, between week two and week three, I would do that. That was my thinking. We'll see if I have enough time. And then, of course, week three, here we are again, a.m., and we carry on. Now, at the back here, again, I've got a pocket. And where did I put it? Did I put it away? Yes, I did. Okay. So, you know how I peeled the um, plastic off of these pages? These pages are sticker paper. So, all I did was take this and I trimmed off this line. And I made it to fit here. So that I can put the little icons for my dailies. As well as have stickers here. So I'm going to tip that in right there and I'm going to use clear tape to do it and I'm going to do the same with the other book and I'm hoping this will give you guys some ideas. Now this came in a pack and I've showed this several times. I think it was like Oh, I want to say like $24. It was under $25 or $30. And you got a lot. You got 60 pieces. And I've used it and used it and used it. Various different, like five different sizes of like of pockets. So it was well worth it. You can find it on Amazon. I don't do links, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just, it's just not that kind of channel. So... I want this to be flat in order for me to tape that in. So already I'm going to be folding this book. Back in the spine, folding the book. And using a clip. So I'm not precious with my books at all. When I want things in here, I want things in here. Hopefully you guys can see everything. <laughs> After yesterday and that little pop-up, which thankfully didn't affect the video at all, but... You know, I'm always checking now. And <laughs> speaking of yesterday's painting, um, there is more work to be done on that painting, and I will be altering it out of sight, out of mind, because it didn't actually turn out uh, the way I wanted it. But that's not to say it wasn't valuable in its... Time. Every every moment that you spend creative creatively is so good for your soul, guys. It really is. Whatever the results will be. And I think that was the whole point of yesterday's video. Is that it's so freeing to know that you can just scribble. You know? make a little box and scribble and add watercolor to the top of it. And maybe from there, put some legs and arms and you got a scribble man. Do you know what I mean? I've done that before. I've got a whole book, a whole collection of what I call the abominable scribbles. <laughs> you know, and it's in the box out in the garage. And you know, I used to do those when I was like sitting in class years and years and years ago, like completely bored and uh, trying to poke myself in the leg with my pen to keep awake, you know, like. So this is great because now what I've done is I've added sticker paper. So let me show you how that's going to benefit in just a second once I do the second one. Because I'm really like doing a double decker kind of book at the same time. So I want to show you all how I did this. 
just in case you happen to get these sticky things. So these ones are like B6 size, you see? And all I did, there's a line here, and I just came along and carefully cut up against the line. My garbage can is already full. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've been doing a lot of like harvesting of magazines. I don't actually even like that word harvesting. Um, I like it on a farm, but I've heard it in other ways and I don't like it. So I want to make sure. Now, did you see how I did that? I did a counter flip. And the reason I did that is because I want these two lines to be over there. Okay. These are about the same. And I want to make sure that they're going to be even when I put them in there. So they pretty much are. So now I'm just going to use, and there's something on my desk and I don't understand it because literally before I sit down every single time, guys, I clean this desk. So I don't know. So I just use this double-sided glue runner I do have a big pink one and I feel like I ought to be using that, but I am stumped on how to get it to work. It jammed up at one point. I feel like there's something seriously wrong. See, even now it got to a certain point and it doesn't want to work for me. And if I pull on it, it's going to break. And I don't know what's going on. What is going on? And you see, like, is that the end of the tape roll? Have I used it all already? Like, seriously, that did not last long at all. So the reusable one, which was the ad, ad tape, ad tack tape runner, that was a mouthful. It might be recyclable, but there certainly isn't a lot of product on here. So actually, I guess I didn't break the last one. I guess it was just out. Um, so that's not really any good for me because I go through a lot. So I'm going to have to go back to the cheapest of the cheapest. But the thing is, I don't like how the cheap ones, like they pull, like, I don't know, silly putty or something. I know I'm whining. If that's my only problem today, you guys, seriously. Okay, so I want to make sure that... And this, now you don't have to, I'm just being me. And thankfully my hands aren't really shaking much today. I think I hooped that up just a little bit, but you know what, it's really not gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, that sticker paper, like so many people throw it out and when you put it in your book, you've got an instant page where stickers can go. Now I don't want to put it where the pocket is. I want to put it one over at least. And again, I'm going to have to fold this book to do it. Clip. And then get this on here. So yeah, I've got some phone calls to make. I think I've got to trim this off a little bit, actually. Uh, I don't think I cut it as straight as I wanted to. i got phone calls to make today. The regular, you know. <laughs> A regular, I want to say, grind of the day, which is not really. It's just a series of appointments, which 
you know. Um, I do feel better, guys. So I'm really hopeful and I'm really grateful. Thank you so much for your prayers. I'm starting to adjust to this harsh, harsh medication. And uh, I think it's starting to work. And that's great because once it works, I only have to be on it for a certain amount of time and then I can come off of it. And yay for me. Yay for me. Because my goal, and I believe very much in thinking positively and trying, like, whether or not it's going to succeed or not, I'm still going to try to think my way into health and I want to get back into nature I want my birthday this year which is in August to be out in the woods with wildlife and even though uh oh what did I do okay I hooped that up I just I you know I want to embrace life I've spent too long now, mind you, it's one day, okay? And I'm already, like, jumping for joy. It's one day, it's one day. But um, to me, I'm like, I'll take it. And anybody, anybody who um, doesn't feel well, I am certain you know what I'm talking about. Um, trying to mask the fact that you're not feeling great in a world that even though that's an acceptable thing, it's really not. It never has been um, because it shows weakness, whether inside your body or inside your mind. People shy away from illness. And I know this to be true. Um, psychologically, I've, I've, researched it and physically I've lived through it so so now I've got see this one doesn't have a back pocket like that because I didn't put a paper on but let's do that what's on the front cover here I think I was going to put the green one What did I do with that green paper? I put it there. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I've given myself, what did I do here? I put two other pieces of paper. So you guys are just watching me decorate a book, really. I mean, I just, That's nice. I just come along and if it just grabs me somehow, some of these are for the art journaling book, but other other pages just grab me somehow. And I think, you know what? Like, I really like them. And I do like having, like, acetate in between the, um, the pages. Like, that's so pretty. A lot of these are like this one should be up front. But up front, let's see. Today is the perfect day to be happy. And there's the bunny. No, we can't use the bunny anymore. You know that that's the thing, like I'm so used to everything happening in April, and it's kind of hooped me up, like, to have St. Patty's Day and, um, and Easter in the same month. It kind of hooped me up a little bit. But to be honest with you, like, I just, time has, like, I, I remember being at my daughter's for New Year's Eve. 
And here we are, the 11th of April, like unbelievable. And I don't think time speeds up. I just think that it's a fallacy to think that when you're older, you'll have more time because you don't. Um, I do want to put something underneath that. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. It just seems to me like something should be. It just, it feels like something's missing. Like if I did that, that would look better. So I'm just going to go with my gut. And however that happens to turn out, it turns out. And like most things that I do, I really don't give it a whole lot of thought. I cut out some stuff that I like. That's my process. I cut out the stuff. I usually pick a magazine or two. I try to limit my choices because otherwise I get overwhelmed and I don't want to do anything. And then I cut out the pictures, which I did mindlessly with my daughter when she was here. And then when I'm putting things together, I try very hard not to think. Um, I find thinking is counterintuitive to what I want to do. So I try not to do that. You know, I used to say, listen to your gut. And the older I get, the more I think, you know what, that's in my world, that's actually not true. Um, because your gut is an emotionally based organism. And they've connected the, the stomach with the brain. <clears throat> and I've done some research on this. And logic doesn't actually hit you. And they trained us in the forces a little bit like this too. Okay, this has to come off. Um, so if you can just get over that three to five minutes of that emotional base and then wait for your logic to kick in, um, then it's better. And I remember doing that in Search and Rescue too. They would give us a bunch of scenarios we would have to follow. And literally, we would not go with our gut. We would not. We would go against our gut. And it was always preferable to listening to our gut. Now, I'm working on the wrong book, I think, even though that one does seem to suit this book a lot better. But this is what I do. And I know a lot of you like to see this stuff. So I'm going to just do it. Yeah, if I haven't told you guys that I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and your patience with my comments. I mean, I do uh, read your comments, guys. It's just... <clears throat> Excuse after excuse after excuse, which I should not make, I know, but I do have them. Even when I put the descriptions in the, um, in below, I truly wish I knew how to do that without having to type every single hashtag out. Because honestly, guys, that takes me so long. If I could do that by copying and pasting, if anybody knows how to do that, Please direct message me over on Instagram, please. Um, I would be so grateful because I tried, I tried to do that with my notes and I don't know what I'm missing. Mind you, I have an iPhone, so if you have an Android, it might be different. And you know what, guys, I know I could Google this, so maybe I'll just Google it. 
asking for help, it's funny because um, I always had a hard time asking for help. But I remember when computers were like great big old like boxes and we were formatting CDs, five and a quarter like flat CDs. We formatted them, you know, it, it's truly very interesting how that came to be. So yeah, this is my process of like decorating the book. I don't know that I've ever shown you how I've gotten to this process part before. Um, but I was doing it. I thought I'd flick on the camera before I went for a walk. I enjoy my walk so much, guys. Like, but I've been somebody who's enjoyed um, athletics my whole life and have missed it terribly when I couldn't do it. And I was extremely athletic, extremely at one point in my life. And you name the sport. Well, volleyball, I wasn't good in. Basketball, believe it or not, was not good in. Um, I was tall and so they thought I would be good at it, but guys, I sucked. And um, grass hockey, Oh my goodness, I, yeah, did not like it. I tried grass hockey and did not like it at all. Not even, not even close. Because, that's nice. Let's cut this down and put it in. I have no idea what our time is, but I still think we have a few minutes. Yeah, grass hockey, really, I didn't enjoy it. And I was the goalie in soccer because I was good at it. No ball was getting in and no ball ever did on my shift. Not once, not ever. I uh, had stitches in my chin because of that. Um, I actually got kicked on a muddy field in the rain in a game by a girl that was on a professional team and she wore her professional cleats. And she kicked me so hard and it connected with my chin. And I honestly thought my head had snapped in two. And I still had caught the ball. Um, she got suspended off the team. But had something worse happened to me. And you know what, guys? As my face was bleeding, we had ten... What was it? Five? No. It was under 10 minutes, maybe three minutes. I don't know. I can't remember. And I insisted on playing till the end. And my coach knew me by that point. I said, you can't take it from me. I've been playing the whole time. And so I was holding a rag to my face, which was against regulations, but they let it happen because she was hauled off. They wanted to cancel the game. We fought it. Long story short, we won. Um, but we won fair and square. We didn't win because she kicked me. We didn't win because I walked out and they didn't cancel the game. I mean, we were out there for two and a half hours playing this soccer game. I love soccer, but I could never play the position of running and kicking. Um, but the goalie, I could. And there was another girl, Martha, who was the backup goalie. And she, um, she was okay. Like, I'm not trying to put her down or anything. She was okay. But she did not, like, she had resentments. Because before I came along, she was the big, you know, choice. And unfortunately, you know, resentments come in and stuff like that. Um... So what are we doing here? So we've got, yeah, we've got, I don't know why we've got so many pages here in the beginning of this particular book. Um, I think there's like 20 pages there. I don't know, but I think it's because, I think it's because again, the December book had so many different like May is our official, like we're in spring, right? Um, and this has so many pages and I have to draw on the calendar. If 
Try to remember to do that. Draw in the calendar. Put in a sticky now. You don't need a sticky that size though. Goodness gracious. Big for China. Where did I put them? Heaven's sakes. I'm just gonna... Oh, there they are. Watch this. Another collapse will happen because I've shuffled things around. Okay. I want to do two calendars, so... Draw. Put in calendar. I hope you guys are in screen. <clears throat> Actually, this should be up here. So that I know. So that is the May book. And I don't have May on there yet. But I will. And this is the current book that I'll be working on. And you can see it's so much simpler. You see, I wanted to see the color yellow. It had April on it. Very, very simple. I, I mucked up the tape. But I did cut down these, and I really liked doing that. So let's get a few other little things in here very quickly. And that's basically how I do it, um, for all of you that have asked me. How I decorate, how I choose my papers. Um, I think there was Sam. Sam had asked me. Heidi had asked me. There was another girl. Emily? I'm not quite sure, guys. Um, but Sam and Heidi, I remember asking me. Um, and yet, these ladies often don't comment, you see, but they'll send me Instagram messages because they use Instagram more. Um, and a lot of people do that, right? But like I said before, guys, like I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm just overwhelmed with too many. So I can't, I can't be doing that. Unless, you know, like, as I offered before, unless you feel like you have, you just have to have somebody to hear you out. I am not a therapist, though. I'm just here to say, you know what, I hear you. And there are resources and point them out. Uh, I do advise everybody to get familiar with those resources on my own fridge. I have a list of everything from emergency numbers to caretaker numbers to everything because you never know, right, if you're going to have a flood or whatever. So that looks nice. And let's go to the second one. Did we do anything for the opening page? No, so I'd like to do that, but then I've got the same acetate, and I don't really like that, and I don't really have the picture that I want. So, basically, folks, that is uh, where I'm at with these books. I'm going to leave it there, I think. I do really love this picture. Again, the bicycle keeps showing up. Which leads me to believe it doesn't fit there at all. I might laminate that and make it into a bookcase or a, a bookcase, a bookmark. Um, so let's just show you again. These are, and this is the first time I've ever 
really done it like this, where I've jumped ahead like this, and it was by proxy because I thought I can't fill, I cannot fill one whole book. And as you can see, there's definitely much less pages and I have to work now to get this up to par. But that'll be my April book. And look, I've trapped all sorts of lovely things under there, but that's okay, I'm not precious with them. And, you know, I'm not even sure I like this in there. So we're not gonna put it in there because it'll rip the page. But, and then back here, I should just write notes. Where is my pen? Because I could put commonplace, but really at the end of the day, it's just notes. Notes, words, all of that. Make sure it dries a little bit. And so, at the end of it all, like I said, the saga continues. This one was definitely my inspiration because I really just like the look of it. These are all the B6s that I've done. So the one on the bottom just happens to be the one that I came out of. So we can remove that because I'm still working on the other parts. But let's put them in order here. This will be the April. I should actually do it this way. That is how they will look. Like that. Filing cabinet city. <laughs> Anyway, special thanks to Monique, as always. Thank you so much, sweetie. And thank you all for tuning in today. There is my new book. There is my May book. And I will have May put on there next time you see it. And I will work on them. And thanks for your patience, everybody, in this process. I pray you have a blessed and beautiful day on this wonderful Thursday. And remember folks, we are all perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will speak to you later. Bye for now, everyone.